Hi everyone, Maya Bushtit here, Traumatic Practitioner Preparation and Integration Guide, Energy and Body Work Facilitator. In my last video, I spoke about death and the connection with the land. And I extend my sharing today from there, starting with the land, honoring the land, honoring the divine, honoring the presence of the divine in everything we are surrounded by, resonating with the divine within. And from there I share, from here I share about truth, because medicine for me is truth. And to get to that realization, I had to go through everything that was untrue, untrue for me. And going through all the beliefs and constructs and limitations that were based on lies, I also had to go through the lies that I've either, either told myself or that other told me. Until a point where I realized that if there's no clarity, one cannot see. And if we can't see, then there's always a lens that is changing the actual reality that we are living. And I'm not sharing this because of the fact that I'm limiting the reality, because the reality is just an expression of our own consciousness, of our own state of being. And if my state of being is not in connection with self, with the body, with the emotions, with how I feel, then that inner world cannot be expressed out. There would be a schism, there would be a split, there would be a gap. When I embarked on my spiritual journey, I had no idea about self. What is this concept? I knew about ego, but I did not know about self. And the beginning of my journey was about depleting the ego, transcending the ego. Because I didn't want to see, I didn't want to feel, I wasn't able to, it was overwhelming. And over time, going through experiences of deconstructions and melting and releasing thought patterns and behaviors that were on autopilot and also looking at the world around me and having it be always an instigating question to look within. All these elements were playing a role in asking myself the question, what is true? What is true? Show me what is true. Because medicine for me is truth. Medicine for me is God and God is clear. Yes, there's the whole expression of consciousness and the whole expression of everything and the spectrum of colors and the yin and the yang and the masculine and the feminine. Yes, the balance. Yes, the perfection in both and with both. Yes. Yet being at the center and experiencing every aspect is what the spiritual journey can be about. I'm not sharing from a place that I'm defining anything. 
I'm sharing very spontaneously and just putting words that resonate in the moment. When people ask me to raise awareness in the world of shamanism, in the world of plant medicine, I question. I question this request. Maybe because when I went through my journey, there was no clear guidance. And so I wonder sometimes, does the guidance help? Maybe yes. I am sure yes. Because it takes much longer and it takes much more work to get to clarity without guidance. And I feel that this is where the guide is needed for a specific amount of time. For me, it was different guides. It was people and also medicine spirits. Because I gave up on the idea that there's one teacher. And the concept of community in the world of spirituality, the concept of community in the world of shamanism, of plant medicine, was questioned many, 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 many times. And my previous teacher used to tell me, if there's no belief system, there's no community. Community is built on a belief system. And I'm starting to sense what a community can be like. Because the previous ones that I've experienced were built on lies, were built on greed. And that was the belief system. And if I hadn't gone through that or those experiences, I wouldn't have known how to get out, how to realize that and to see the truth, which always is a slap. <laughs> the truth is not at all something gentle. It's a shock. It has to be. Especially when we realize that we are or we have embodied belief systems that were based on lies and delusion. And so for us to realize that, is this who I was or is this who I am? It's shocking and that's part of the journey. And that's where I find people struggling in questioning the belief system instead of letting it go when it does not belong anymore, letting it go with all of its components in order to deepen the faith, in order to deepen the connection with God, in order to deepen the connection with life. It is truly the identification with the belief systems that is at the base of suffering and how much of that we are seeing. And it's not about being utopic at all. <laughs> I come from a land that is based on that. Yet, under the surface of this land, there's passion, there's love, there's colors, there's spices, there's beauty. And before digging under the surface, 
I was stuck in the belief systems within myself and with others. And in the world of shamanism, the fast pace, the world of plant medicine, the fast pace, integration is becoming essential. And lately, especially this year, I've been saying more no's to ceremonies and more yeses to guiding integration because I'm finding it to be really, really a priority. Working with self in order to see the belief, in order to disengage from all the components of the belief, in order to touch on truth again. The work is from truth back to truth. And it does involve delusion on the way. And the guidance is usually about, hey, look, this is not aligned. And when it's not aligned, then it's not who you are. And the journey is not linear. It's a spiral. So we keep visiting the same story over and over again with different names, different situations, different ways of encountering lies and deception and backstabbing and everything that is part of what is not true. We need to face that in order to come back to truth, in order to lose faith and then regain faith at a deeper level, in order to lose connection with life and then come back to a deeper connection with life, in order to die and be reborn. And to me, the connection with the land through this journey, the land anywhere, not only the land where I was born and raised, but the land anywhere is a pivotal point because the body is a projection of the land, of all the elements. And engaging with the elements every single day is essential. The earth, the water, the fire, the air, and the spirit that is guiding it all. And at the core of it is the heart. And the deeper the journey, the deeper the truth. The more melting the more expansion rooted in humbleness. The more of seeing the beauty, the infinity of life rooted in this moment. The more on touching, the more touching on love with a foundation, lived and expressed and shared. We come back to truth. So here's me sharing my truth with you. I hope it resonates. And I would love to read your comments and share your experience and see where you are at with this on your journey, in your way and in your own truth as well. For now, I send you much love and many blessings.